everybody. Uh, it's now six o'clock. It's time to tune in. I hope you're tuning in. Um, my name is Mike Oberst, and I am really happy to be a part of the the LAS Underground um, show tonight. Be a guest on the show, and um, that's the Longworth Anderson series. So thanks so much for having me, and uh, thank you, Corey. Off, off camera. <laughs> um, so I also have to say uh, thank you so much to Bromwells for having me as well. Jeff, thank you. And, um, and they, I am amongst many fireplaces. So if you uh, need, for all of your fireplace needs, stop <laughs> on down to Bromwells. <laughs> and uh, I have a wood stove that's pretty old, so I might, I might be coming back. I'm going to stop rambling now and play you a song that I wrote called The Cardinal Train. first uh, adventure on the road, on the railroad, 
actually when we took a train to New York City um, uh, in 2008. And we played in the subway and stuff like that. And had a grand, grand old time. So, Cardinal Train.
us in some marble. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, and it's really funny because, um, because I, <laughs> you know, this is really weird. I, it's like playing for an invisible audience, right? Um, I know you're there. I, well, I guess I don't know. Of course, anybody okay. there? Okay. okay. Um, but, uh, but it still makes me, <laughs> makes me really nervous. <laughs> like, I got to relearn how to do the nerve treatment again. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's see, I'll do one called Oh Louisiana. Teddy Bear Picnic. <laughs> so, I'm not going to play that one for you. But uh, that's what he likes right now. And London Bridge is falling down. He's two. So those are, I feel like that's pretty good. All right. Uh, this is uh, another one of mine called Lantern Lullaby.
good time uh, despite the circumstance and uh, so I didn't didn't really realize that this song would come in uh, so handy again but uh, anyway this song is it's called Blackout and it's a post-apocalyptic love song Thank you. 
Let's go out and there's no one to celebrate The oil gets gone, there's no lights to generate I'll be sitting here so blue And I wouldn't mind to spend this blackout with you when The world slows down and we come to find the things we need Baby, I'd love to find you sitting next to me We could light a candle for two So I gotta play this song called the George Street Beat. George Street, well, a little tiny bit, like not even, it's not a block, it's one little strip of George Street still exists down here, <clears throat> a few blocks away, and uh, leads to a parking garage now. But back in the day, it uh, was the place to be. Blues musicians down there, Stove Pipe, number one, and Kid Cole, some of those guys playing on George Street uh, back in the 20s and 30s here in Cincinnati. So this is a song I wrote about about that era, in my imagination, and um, it's called the George Street Beat. Here we go. Let's see. Well, I'm the 
October 2019, I put out my second solo album. It was called Six Feet of Earth. And, uh, and um, didn't really get it out there like planned this year, but that's okay. And uh, this is a song that I wrote and put on that album. Um, this song was dedicated to my uh, family in upstate New York. All the good, good old things that my that I learned from from my grandma. I guess. It was 
long, long ago When I was just a boy Oh, we load the white wagons with stores to implore With a song on my tongue and a heart full of joy Then we left for the North Country To the rolling green forests and fields I did go Shaking off all the small gold the city Yeah. My friend Gene calls this my special band. It's, it's got lyrics from a tune called Little Birdie, a song called Little Birdie. Ah, uh, let's see here. I hope you can hear it. I'll do Ruben's uh, string. Oh, 
Thanks. We even made the tailpiece out of a bottle opener. So it's <laughs> extra special. Cool. Thank you. 
song that I wrote called Willie Deer about a ghost story from Newport, Kentucky, Civil War era ghost story um, that supposedly took place at the old Southgate house building. So here we go, Willie Deer. Oh, Willie Deer, you've got a mind to leave me once again. See your ship upon the shore and freight all loaded in. Oh, Lizzie dear, you know that I must ship out with the crew. Though the river carries me, my heart remains with you. Now Willie's ship departed from the docks early next day. Elizabeth looked on as he floated far away. From the house upon the hill she'd wait and watch the river bend. For the ship to bring her own true love safely home again. Well, he toiled aboard the boat for months with hands so rough and raw. She waited for a letter as the sun did rise and fall Until one day she saw the smoke and heard the hissing steam The weary ship returning from the hall to New Orleans Just then a loud explosion broke and trembled hills around her eyes so wide in horror as the tears come pouring down. From bow to stern the ship did burn, she heard the sailors cry. A flame and fire rapture lighting up the midnight sky. Then with a trembling hand upon the pen she wrote for he. This world can show no beauty if with you I cannot be. Oh, loneliness I can't endure to drown in sorrow's tide. I'll go to meet my Willie dear upon the other side. Next day, ship come rolling in and anchored in. Board was Willie Thompson on arrival one day late. As fast as he could travel, and through the door he broke. And up the stairs he found his darling hanging from a rope. Now time did pass for Willie as he walked this world along. But time stood still. Upon the hill where sat poor Lizzie's home And now so still and quiet There stands the open door With the dust upon the window pane And shadows on the floor Well, he 
It's eighteen stairs to bring her up to the widow's walk. And five windows for to view the rusted steamship docks. Is Lizzie standing by the chair, or is she in the hall? Or is she in the corner with her pale face to the wall? Thank you. All right. <clears throat> you're having fun out there. Um, let's see. I like to go off track from the set just a little too much, but um, stick to it right now.
Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.